Hey everybody, I'm Michael. Uh, this is the schedule for my book review channel. So this month I'm going to do something different. I'm actually going to do something topical. Now you might have heard last month there was this big fuss about these Dr. Seuss books, right? So there were about five Dr. Seuss books which are no longer being published because they have objectionable content. And I was actually planning on reviewing all the Dr. Seuss books. You know, about two, three years ago, my kid was on a major Dr. Seuss kick, and so we read a lot of them, and I was thinking about reviewing them at the time, but I decided against it, because, well, like half the books are 30 pages long, so it, it, it's not really, e really easy to do a, a good book review for a book that's just so short. I mean, they would be like two minute reviews, so I figured nobody wanted to watch two minute reviews. And, um, also, I kind of got bored with the Dr. Seuss stuff. I, I, I know Dr. Seuss wrote some really great books, but for every book which is super fantastic, there are like three to five books which are kind of bad, like really bad. Like, one of the tricks he does is he takes an animal and then he puts a Z in front of its name, and that's it. That's the trick. So, like, you'll take a cow and call it a zow, and so the book will be, oh, wow, I see a zow. Here it comes now. Do you see the zow now? Oh, how? How is a zow here now? And, and, you know, he does that trick in, oh, so, so many books. Like, oh, the places you go. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Um... Even a little bit in, uh, you know, Hop on Pop, even. It's just the same trick over and over again. All oh, the places you'll go. It, it, so, um, yeah, there's a walk it in my pocket, too. It, it's just, I, uh, you know, it's very imaginative and creative um, for kids, yeah, but as an adult, it's like, you just put the letter Z in front of the animal, like, oh, there's a gack which is obviously supposed to be a yak. We play a game called Ring the Yak. Ring the Yak. It, it, I don't know, it drove me crazy. Anyway, I'm getting totally off topic. So I'm uh, going to be reading uh, Dr. Seuss this next month. I will be reading the most objectionable Dr. Seuss book of all time. So that's from Dr. Seuss's uh, The Cat in the Hat Knows a Lot About That Imagination Library. There's no place like space. If you could believe this garbage book, they got rid of the planet Pluto. Like, the original version of the book has two pages about the planet Pluto. And they include planet Pluto, like, on the next uh, set of two pages. But, but in the updated version, they got rid of it. Those monsters. Pluto is still a planet. I don't care what those Dr. Seuss people think. Pluto's a planet, and so I'm going to be giving a very long, angry review for that clearly objectionable Dr. Seuss book. <sighs> okay, other books I'm uh, going to be reading this, this month. Okay, so I'm going to be reading uh, um, four different issues of Popular Mechanics, which is a, a magazine. Figured I'd be branching out reading uh, magazines. I'm sure all my fans love uh, Popular Mechanics. Um, then I was told to read a Japanese book, so... Uh, Rashomon by Ryonosuke Akutagawa. Akutagawa. Uh, I don't actually read Japanese. I, I, I don't speak Japanese. So it was really hard to get through that book because it was in a language I don't understand. But I think my review is going to do it justice. Uh, also, some of the uh, Wizard of Oz books. I, I've got some of them here behind me, actually. Um, let me uh, get them out for you. Look, okay, so this is book number five, The Road to Oz, and Ozma of Oz, obviously the third book in this series. And yeah, I, I'm such a big fan of Oz. I, I have the, the book numbers memorized like that. So I'm uh, not going to be reading these two, actually. I'm going to be reading Murder in Oz, uh, followed by Elvis in Oz. So you can look forward to that. Um, a Pinkalicious book. So this was like a potty training Pinkalicious book. Pinkalicious's potty time are uh, Poopalicious books. Mm-hmm. So it's a uh, pooperific. We'll, we'll be reading that one. And then uh, Agatha Christie. Actually, I got a lot of recommendations. Uh, a lot of people wanted me to read Agatha Christie. But, you know, everybody's read Murder on the Orient Express and the, the murder of Roger Ackroyd and the ABC murders. So I'm reading um, some writings by Agatha Christie, which 
I don't think anybody's ever read yet, or at least I haven't seen anybody do a review yet. So it is uh, the Agatha Christie shopping list. So she wrote, um, you know, a shopping list about every week of her life, and so I will actually be reading those shopping lists that she wrote. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that's Agatha Christie writing. Hello! People want to see it. Um, uh, Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. Everybody wants me to read William Shakespeare. <laughs> okay, nobody's actually recommended that I read William Shakespeare, but I feel like I should read it because all I read of Shakespeare was uh, high school. We read Macbeth, and then that's it. And Shakespeare wrote like 40 different plays, and I'm sure they're all slam dunks. So uh, why, why can't I read them? I, might as well. Um, so I'm going to be reading one of his more popular plays, Titus Andromachus, which I'm told is one of his best. Um, besides for Hamlet, of course. Uh, and then a Batman comic book. This is called uh, Bruce Cries A Lot. So it's Batman number um, 123, I believe. Bruce, it's about some guy named Bruce who cries a lot over his dead parents. That's basically the story. I didn't like it very much. And uh, yeah, so those will be uh, all the various books I'll be reading on my uh, book review channel this month. And April Fool's! <laughs> <laughs> April Fools, I'm not actually going to read any of those books. <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't resist. Um, it just so happens that the day for me doing my book, book schedule happened to be April Fools' Day this year. So um, those, those are all not books I'm going to be reading. It's, it's just a joke. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I'll post the real schedule tomorrow.